What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're gonna write a program to pick the winner for my birthday contest using Python and Kinter. I guess like I said, in this video, we're gonna write a little script to pick the winner for yesterday's contest. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so yesterday, if you've been watching the channel, uh, you saw the video where it's my birthday coming up tomorrow, Friday, and I'm giving away a free Codemy membership, $49 value, and, uh, to be entered in the, the contest thing, all you had to do is comment below the video, use the word Aspen somewhere in your comment, and you get entered into the contest. So in this video, we're gonna write a little program that automatically randomly picks the winner. We're not gonna leave this to chance. We're gonna do some coding and learn some stuff. Might as well be fun. Uh, so it shouldn't take us very long, but uh, it should be fun. So we're gonna use Kinter and Python for this. Kinter is the graphical user interface that comes with Python that allows you to create GUI desktop apps. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, check my playlist. I've got a whole like 40 video playlist on Kinter and I'm con continuously adding to it. Uh, so that's cool. So what I did was I just went back to yesterday's video and I just looked down and copied every single person that commented into a Python list. And I've named this entries, right? So you could see there is a bunch of entries, right? So if you haven't entered by now, too late, this is it. We're gonna pick the winner now. So. Uh, this is a, a standard Kinter startup, you know, bit of script. We import Kinter from Kinter, import everything. We create a root window. We, we name it TK. It's an instance of TK. Uh, we create a title for it, Code Me Learn to Code. Put a little icon on there, and the size is 400 by 400. And then to run it, we just run root.main loop. So if I save this, and I'm saving this as winners.py in my GUI directory, so I can just come over here and run this. And when I do, I just get this. Windows box with nothing in it, but that's good. So uh, now we just need to write our program. So let's start out, let's create some labels, uh, a label for this thing, and let's call the first one top label. And I'm not gonna explain all this. If you've been watching the Kinter videos, you already know. Otherwise, you can go back and watch those to learn exactly what I'm doing. I'm just gonna knock this out. Otherwise, it would take all day. So we wanna create a, a label. We want it in our root window. And we want the text to equal what? Win O Rama. <laughs> right? And let's put the font as, let's make it a little bit bigger. So let's go Helvet Helvetica. Right? And I want that to be size 24. So now we put this on the screen. I'm just going to pack it. And let's give this a pad Y of 20. Okay. So now underneath this, we want a button. I want to be able to click the button and get a winner. So let's create a button, let's call it the win button, right? And this is gonna be a button, and we want it in root, and we want the text to equal, uh, what? Pick our winner, right? And again, let's give this a font, and I'm just gonna copy this thing here. And we also want to give this a command, and let's call it pick. We're gonna create a function called pick. All right, so let's put this on the screen, win button dot grid or dot pack. Let's just pack it on the screen. And let's also give this a pad Y of 20. So then up here, we need to create a function called pick. And I'm just gonna uh, return it for now. All right, so let's save this. And we called this function pick because over here, that's the command we we said we want to run. We want to run this function whenever somebody clicks that button. So, all right, let's save this and run it real quick and just see if that looks good. All right, oh yeah, that looks really good. So Winorama, pick our winner, and nothing happens now. So, okay, but it's looking okay. And we don't really care how this looks. We just are more interested in the functionality, <laughs> right? So uh, that's fun. So, all right, so I've got all my entries here. I'm just gonna, copy this and let's put the entries in our pick function, right? So now before we do random stuff, 
I want to think about this list I created. I just went through and copied all the names that, of people that commented and slapped them into this list, right? And the reason why I did that is because we can generate a random number and say we generate number 42, right? Well, we can then just call entries 42 and whoever that is wins, right? So uh, instead of 42, we could just, you know, type in our random variable that we create and that'll work. So that's an easy way to do it. So that's why I did that. But I'm thinking to myself, you know, people might have commented twice. There's like, I don't know, almost 90 people commented. It's very likely that people commented more than once and I didn't notice and I just copied and pasted, copied and pasted. So we really need to check to make sure that this is unique and that people didn't enter more than once, right? That seems fair to me, I think. So I'm trying to think of how to do this and we can convert this into a Python set. And a set is a unique list, right? So it will go through there and, and take out all the duplicates for us. And then we can convert it back to a list from a set and we'll have unique stuff. So um, I think that's probably a good idea. Before we do that though, uh, let's come down here. Well, let's, uh, we can do it right here. Let's create a, a winner label. And that's gonna be a label. And that's going to be in root and we want the text to equal something and we want a winner label dot pack and i'm probably want a grid or i probably want to pad y this 20 also or heck let's make it 50. <laughs> and let's also put let's also change the font we'll put this at 18 right so the text here Let's see how many uh, entries we have just right now. So we can do, we can run a len function. And inside of that, we could just pass entries. So let's save this and run it just to see, because I'm curious how, exactly how many people um, signed up here. So it looks like 89 of you signed up, maybe. But now we, we, we really, we really want to make sure that there's no duplicates. So, so remember 89. Well, let me just make a comment. Uh, 89 entries. So now let's really quickly, let's uh, convert to a set. And it's really easy to do that. We can just go, uh, we could just call this entries underscore set. And we can set that equal to set. And then we can just pass in our, our guy here. So set entries, right? So now we want to convert it back to a list. So to do that, we just take, and let's create a new variable. I'm gonna call it unique underscore entries. And we set that equal to list, and then just whatever we call this thing. All right, so let's paste that in there. Okay, so now instead of running a length on entries, let's run a len on this to see if these are the same. So it was 89 the first time, if there were no duplicates, it should be 89 now. If there were, it'll be something else. So let's just run this and see. I'm curious. This should be fun. So, okay. Pick our winner. Oh, 85. So four of you tried to cheat. Ah, ah, <laughs> All right. Well, that's fun. All right. So let's come up here, convert back to list. What did we say? 84, 85. What was it? Let's run it again. Yeah, 85. So, all right, so we have 85 total total entries. So that's cool. All right, so now we need to pick a winner. And to do this, we need to create a random number. Now, Python has random number stuff we can use. We just have to import it into our program. So from random, uh, let's import rand int. And this will allow us to pick random integers, right? And it's really easy to create random integers. In fact, let's just come down here and let's, uh, let's create a random number between zero and 84. Right? Because remember, lists start at zero. So this guy is the zero with item. So we need a random number to be zero or up to 84. Now, yes, there are 85 entries, but there are numbers only go up to 84 because we start at zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 e
that's 85 people, right? So from zero to 84 is 85 people. So we need a random number between zero and 84, right? Basic Python. So, okay, let's create a, a variable. I'm just gonna call it rando. And we need a rand int. And we can say, we want this between zero and what? Well, 84, we know it's 84, but let's, let's create, create our list size variable. So we can go unique entries. So let's just call this our num, our number. And it's gonna be unique entries. Well, it's gonna be the len of unique ent entries minus one, right? So this will give us 84. But if there was more than 84 and we didn't know, right, if there was a million and we didn't want to count them all or whatever, or run the len function, to get our to get this number, it would just be the length of the, the list minus one. All right, so there's 85 entries minus one. That gives us a number between zero and 84. So we could just take this number now and instead of passing 84, we would we could do it like this, probably a better way to do it. Okay. So this will create a, a number between one and 84 and assign it to this rando variable, right? So now to get our winner, all we have to do is call unique entries and then pass in rando, I think. That seems right, right? I think so, okay? So let's just go through this again. We've got our button down here. When we click the pick, or when we click the button, the pick command gets run, which is this pick function. And we take our entries, which is a Python list, and we convert it into a set so that all the duplicates get removed. And then we convert that set back to a list so that we can grab out a number. Sets don't have index numbers. So we just can't call like the 42nd index number of a set because they don't have numbers, but lists do. So we need to convert it back to a list. Then we create a variable that has the numbers that we want to create our random number from. And that's just going to be the unique entries list minus one. So there are 85 entries. Uh, 85 minus one is 84. So 84. So let's just see. This is the 84, 84th. Uh, item in our list. This is the zeroth item. So zero plus 84 equals 85 things, which is the number that we have in there. Hope that makes sense. So we're going to create a random number between zero and our number, which is 84. This will include also the number. So it will include zero and 84. So both zero and 84 could show up in any number in between just randomly. And then finally, we want to print out onto the screen the, the name of this random number in this unique entry list. All right, so I think the only thing to do is save this and run it, it's very exciting. It's the first time we've done something like this on the channel. All right, so is everybody ready? winner rama time to pick our winner. Should we have a countdown? Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, spider, spider wins. <laughs> Congratulations, Spider. Uh, get in contact with me. You can go, let's see. So you can go to codemy.com and click on contact, fill out this form. This will send an email straight to me with your contact information so that I can set up your account or, you know, contact me through YouTube. Is there a messaging system through YouTube? I'm not even sure. Comment below the video if you want. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Let's run this again. Let's pick another winner. Why not? Two winners today. That's what I say. Hopefully Spider won't win twice, right? So, all right, here we go. Pick another winner, and the winner is, yay, Christian Simoko. Christian Simoko. So you win too. We have two winners. Uh, it's very exciting. And you know what? Let's do it again. That was fun. So first, let me write these down here. So we have Spider. We have Christian Simco. If I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm very, very sorry. Let's do it again. Three times, third time's the charm. I always make three mistakes in these videos, so we might as well have three winners. Boom, Binaj Andy, woohoo, congratulations. And uh, man, I could do this all day, that was fun. 
<laughs> We're going to stop at three, though. I think that's pretty good. So, you know, if you did not win, you can also take advantage of just my normal discount. When you click here, membership's usually 79 bucks. But if you use coupon code, let's see, YouTube one comes down to $49. But guess what? I'm feeling even crazier today. Let's create another coupon code, which is going to be my B day, my B day, my birthday. Uh, it doesn't exist yet, but right as soon as I'm finished done with this video, I will create this coupon code and it will give you membership for just $27, $27 just today only next 24 hours, my B day, right? So anybody wants to take advantage of that, they can. Uh, if you want just one of my courses at Udemy, you can go to johnelder.com and click on my Udemy courses for the next day or so. These will be $9.99 coupons at Udemy. So all of my courses here, you can take individually one at a time for, you know, 10 bucks each. Uh, but this coupon only lasts for a day or two and then it will expire. So be sure and take advantage of that if you're interested. Otherwise, use this My B Day and get everything for $27. And, uh, you know, if you're not familiar, Codemy.com, this is my website, has all my courses, over 40 courses. You can come to the main page here and read through all of these. You can click on any of them to get more information on each one, right? See what's in them, what's what's going on. You get access to me. You can ask questions. You get access to all the other students. You can interact. You get copies, PDF copies of all my best-selling coding books. I have several number one best-selling coding books from Amazon uh, that I've written over the years. You get the PDF versions of all of those. And uh, it's just a really cool place. And I hope to see you there. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and for my birthday, and check out codeme.com where you can use coupon code MYBDAY uh, to get a bunch off, $50 off, something like that, 79 minus 27, however much that is. Uh, <laughs> so you pay just $27 today only uh, to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 85,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.